Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of Let's Get Organized. Today I'm going to share with you a way that I transform my small closet into a really amazing crafting space. I'm also going to share with you some paper storage ideas, some vinyl storage ideas, and some other ideas. So, if you want to have to do it, stick around and show you how. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, this is what I'm starting with. This is a closet that I have been cramming stuff in for years. I can't see anything in here. I can't find anything in here. I have too big of a cabinets in here for this space. So I'm going to go ahead and just gut the entire thing and start from scratch again. Now I had the main structure still. This was my son's closet. So I still had the rods. So I'm just going to add to this instead of taking it away and starting over. So I'm running over to Lowe's because that is a closet made setup and they do have the shelves that match it and the brackets. And I'm also going to grab a couple of pegboards because I'm going to do a backsplash with the pegboards and I'll show you how I'm going to tie all this together here in a little bit. Well, I'm starting off with some cabinets that I got at Amazon. I'm using two of the six um, square ones and I'm going to use one of the three square one because that is the maximum space I had to go across the, the length of my closet. These are super simple to put together. All you need is a screwdriver and a um, hammer. And with a little help from both Murphy and Maxwell, I got this put together pretty quickly. The hardest part of this whole project was opening up the packaging. Okay, for the price of these, I was pretty happy with the stability of these. I'll give you the link for these in the description below. But I ended up being able to put all the way across with an inch on each side, two sixes and one three. Okay, then I screwed all these together to kind of make them a little bit more even, and then I put these little plastic pieces over the screws that come with the kit. And I picked up a few of these cubes at Dollar Tree. These are the ones that are the new heavier duty ones, and they come in a bunch of different colors, but they are more heavy duty than the ones that they used to have, and then they have a nice handle on the front. And these fit into my cubes just perfectly, and I'm putting them in the ones that have no backing on them. I mean, you could use them for all of them. Okay, and I'm going to put a countertop on the top of this so I do have an, like an additional workspace. So I'm just measuring all the way across from wall to wall. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut a shelf that I got at uh, Lowe's to go on this. Now I got my shelf, it's 12 inches um, deep. My cabinets are like 11.7, so it didn't take up a lot of space, but it did add a lot of more functionality to the space. It just gives you a little additional workspace and it goes all the way from wall to wall. And then I'm just going to take some um, double sided tape. I'm using the 3M automotive tape and I'm just going to tape it to the top. I'm not going to screw it to the top or anything like that. I'm just going to put that on the ridges of the cabinets and that held that in there pretty firm. Just push it down real good once you get it in place. Okay, next I'm going to bring my pegboard in because I'm going to figure out exactly where I want my pegboard to be before I add my upper shelves. And then I'm just going to put my shelf brackets up higher so that they are overhead, but still low enough to where I get a lot more space on my shelves. Now I did have to trim my shelves because I did want them to go wall to wall. If you have a pair of bolt cutters, it's pretty easy just to cut these. If you don't, you can use like a hacksaw and, and saw through these. But I just wanted to get it to where I had full side to side on my on my shelves so I had more space. But this is pretty easy to cut with a with a bolt cutter or even just a hacksaw. And then to attach it, I just got some zip ties and I just tied it to each one of those rods on the top and the bottom. And those are 40 pound zip ties. And that was plenty for the weight that I'm going to be putting on here. Painted, I just got the cheapest white flat paint that they had at Lowe's and a little foam brush. And you could just you get a little sample size paint. It would have been enough. Okay, and since they didn't have the white pegboard, I am just taking a foam roller and just some regular flat white paint, and I'm just going to roll this out. Now, if you want white, you can buy a bigger sheet, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to have to store the excess. So, it went on pretty quick and easy. You can roll this with a foam roller and just get the cheapest paint that they have. Okay, while my paint's drying, I'm going to show you this real quick and easy way that you can store your um, Cricut vinyl. It, I got this little kit from Amazon, and it has these little rods that go through your vinyl, and then it hangs on the back of the door. And I'll show you how quick and easy it is to put together, and it held every single one of my vinyl. Okay, and I ordered some of these little slap bracelets off of Amazon to wrap around my vinyl. And all you do to do is just take it and it just snaps right around it and it holds it in place. It keeps it from raveling while it's hanging up. 
And then this is the unit that I got. This is what it looks like when it's completely put together. And it holds 25 rolls. So it held all the vinyl that I had. And then this is how it's easy it is to install. You just hook it over the top part of your door. You add your little straps. And then it comes with some pretty thick little dowel rods. And you just run them through there and hook them through the loops. This is a real quick and easy way to um, store your vinyl. And it does look good in your craft room. And if you have any tubes that haven't been opened, you can just cut a hole in the bottom of the tube and hang the tube up with the vinyl inside of it. And you see right there how much cleaner it makes your space. It really does organize it where you can see what you got. I had to store some larger things. I got these little plastic shelves on Amazon. They come with the hooks. And this is how they look after I installed them. Then I got these little stackable drawer units from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to glue two of these together to go all the way across my shelf. And then I'm just gluing these together with a little E6000 glue and some hot glue just to make sure that they do stay together. And then if you can't find these at Dollar Tree, you can order them online. I ended up ordering a case of them because they are a handy little drawer unit. And I'm just putting things in it that don't take up a lot of space that end up getting lost in all the rest of my craft stuff. And then I would highly recommend this next step is to label all of your products so that you can see right at a distance what you got. And you don't have to, you can stack things up higher if you do this and then you can see what's in your containers. But it really does make it look nice and it does kind of give it a little bit of a clean look. And I invested in a um, pegboard accessory kit I got on Amazon. It comes with these little six of the cups and a bunch of little trays that you can put little things in. And it has these little hooks to hook it to your pegboard. And this is the kit that I got. I'll give you the link to it in the description below. But I purchased six of the cups on another order. And for $5 more, I figured out I could have the whole kit. So this was a good buy. And this is how clean and organized everything looks once you get it installed. I got baskets in each one of my little cubes. And I got all my little accessory packs hanging up there. And my little um, paint on top of my shelves. It just really did clean up your space. And it made it where you could find things pretty easily. Just walk right in there and grab what you need. For some paint storage, I bought these acrylic trays from Amazon. You get six of them in a pack. And I'm going to put these on my back wall and I'm going to put paint on them. Now, they held 12 bottles of paint and they just install real easily. You don't have to even have a stud in your wall. This is where you get them. They're priced right at $16.99 for six. And I did go back and buy another set, but these would be good for glitter too. Anything that's in a small bottle. And this is how good they look on the wall. I mean, I organized mine by color, but they did hold a lot of paint. Now, I said that they held 12, but I put mine up against the wall pretty close so that the, the last one wouldn't fall off. If you don't have them next to a wall, you're only going to get 11 on them. I store my 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I've just got these job ticket holders from Amazon. They're real thick vinyl, and I'm going to label each one of them the color of the cardstock that I'm using. Now, if you want to just put brown, that's great, but I bought these at Stampin' Up! They had a specific color, so I am labeling them with the, the correct color. And these you can use over and over and over again because they are real heavy vinyl, and you get a pack of 10 of them from Amazon for around $7.49, but if you go to the office supply, you can use usually get them in the five dollar range so I did all of my cardstock this way and I've labeled it and I'm going to show you how you can store it to get to it quickly okay I just picked up one of these little pocket organizers from Amazon it's got 10 pockets they're real heavy duty the grommets hold up well I have one of these I've had for six years and it still does great and you can hang this over the back of a door so the space wise this, that you save in storage really does. You, this thing will hold about 40 of those envelopes. Okay, I'm just organizing mine by color. I got about five little envelopes into the bottom one and then I got four in about each of the other ones. It just makes it a little bit easier to walk right up and you can see your colors pretty quick and easy. And it adds a little bit of color to your room. All right, look how easy that was and look how pretty that is. It's totally organized. You know exactly what kind of paper you have. For my 12 by 12 cardstock, I'm using these little organizer envelopes that I got on Amazon. I'll give you the link for them. They're a vinyl that's pretty thick and they come with labels and they say they hold about 50 sheets. I didn't quite get 50 sheets in mine, but pretty close. 
I sorted all my cardstock by color and then I'm just going to start taking about three quarters of an inch thick and putting it in each pocket. And then when I stand them up into my cabinet, you can still see all the colors from the sides so you know exactly what colors in each one. And then since they were pretty thick, you do have to go ahead and tape the front once you tuck in the little tuck part in the front part because it will not stay together. And then I did the same thing with the rest of the stack. Okay, then for my pattern paper, if they came in a paper pack like this, I'm going to go ahead and take the front and the back cover off of these, and then I'm going to slide these into one of those sleeves as well. It was just a little bit too bulky to put the cardboard part in there, but I'm going to go ahead and sort all of mine by um, like season, like I'm going to put all my Christmas together, and then I'm going to start putting like floral together, abstract together, you know, polka dots and lines together. You can sort it however you want to, but this worked for me, and um, I ended up getting all of them done with still leaving a lot of those little pouches left for future um, use. Okay, for my smaller paper pads, I'm just going to go ahead and just put these into a basket. I don't have a lot of these. If you have a lot of these and you have a better storage solution, be sure and leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, these organizers really did help reduce the space it takes for scrapbook paper because I had these in several different baskets and then just get them all in one location really is nice. And then on my um, stamps and my dies, I just put those on the shelf right below. And I just organize those in little pouches as well. Okay, for my closet storage, I just bought some of these little containers at um, Lowe's. They have a lid on them. And I'm just going to kind of sort things to go together. Like I'm putting all my little wood products in here, little squares that I have. And then I'm going to go ahead and label each one of them. That way, when I put them on my very tip top shelf, I can start seeing exactly what I have. And that's what I'm going to use primarily across the top shelf. Okay, for my polyfill, I saved some Folgers containers that I've had, and I'm just going to go ahead and divide this bag between two containers. Now, if you just push it on down in there, you can get your lid on there pretty easy, and I did get this entire bag between two of them. And I'm going to put these in my little cube unit, so they're going to go down into those little cloth um, baskets that I got at Dollar Tree, and it just is really a space saver, and then you don't see it just laying around. And two of these fit perfectly in there, and you still had room to put something else. Okay, just to recap the before, this is what my closet looked like before. No organization at all. It was just a disaster. And I was able to get almost everything back into my closet when I got done. Some of the things I took out because they didn't belong in the closet in the first place. And this is how pretty it looks when you get all done. Everything's nice and neat and organized, and everything can be found pretty easily. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. If you have areas in your craft room that you struggle with organization, let me know, and maybe I can do a video on it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.